Alrighty, so we posted a video two days ago now, um, our prediction for what's uh, called a surf coaster, um, and a lot of people were confused. I totally always forget that the people who view my videos tend to be from the Canada, Michigan, Ohio area, and tend to be from the more general public tones of things, and don't necessarily keep up to date with everything in the amusement world. So the surf coaster is essentially nothing at the moment. So the surf coaster stems from a trademark filed by, I'm going to totally pronounce this wrong, so feel free to drag me, Bulger and Mabillard. Um, it's a manufacturer that builds B&M roller coasters. So at Canada's Wonderland, for example, Yukon Striker, Behemoth, and Leviathan are B&M roller coasters. Um, so all we know at the current moment is that B&M has filed a trademark called Surf Coaster, um, and that's truthfully all we really know. Um, so what we posted two days ago is something that I imagined up. So in Discord, we tend to talk about these things a lot. We go <laughs> into conversations about what we think, and I started building this coaster in Planet Coaster, and I'm not very good at building, so my friend um, uh, Inside Great Adventure helped me complete it because... I was just throwing in like pre-built elements and stuff, but I was imagining B&M coming out with this coaster that was to rival Intamin and Vacoma. And uh, there's a reason for that. You're seeing uh, Intamin and Vacoma sales increasing because a lot of people are buying launch coasters now. Now, a lot of people are going to argue, well, B&M already has a sit-down launch coaster. Yes, yes, they do. But they don't have a new track type that can handle some of these cooler elements and, uh, low to the ground, twisty, like more inverting elements that you see on these Vacomas and Intamin launch coasters. So my honest prediction is that B&M could possibly come out with a new track type, new prototype track um, for a new launch coaster that is more focused on differing elements, sharpness, and, uh, you know, going after that aspect that a lot of parks seem to be going after now. You're seeing Universal building launch coasters and launch coaster SeaWorld. Like, all these parks are building launch coasters, especially overseas. B&M's got to do something. Now, there's a little more to the story. So I believe Ocean Park released a art rendering, and you can never take art renderings too seriously at all. Trust me, I understand that. But they released an art rendering which looked like a B&M coaster, and it looked to be very different, and it had over-the-shoulder restraints and a sit-down train, but the train looked slightly different, kind of similar to this in a... To be a little honest, it looked like your traditional B&M sit-down with only six cars um, with over-the-shoulder, and uh, yeah, it looked very surf coaster to me. When I looked at that, I was like, that looks like almost like a surfer going through waves, those last little elements in the artwork. I'll try and find the picture and post it on the screen for you guys. And that's what really got me thinking, wow, maybe the B&M surf coaster is B&M's retaliation to Intamin and Vacoma's launch coaster. We know that they have, you know, the Hulk at Universal Orlando and, again, traditional B&M launch coasters. But is B&M really going to come out with a coaster that could rival those? And I honestly think it's a very high possibility. And that's where this coaster came from. A lot of people were like, well, this coaster already exists. They have the Hulk at Universal Studios. That wasn't really the idea. I'll, ultimately, it's my fault. I should have released this video before our prediction. Um, so that's definitely my fault not explaining what was going on. This video was meant to come out yesterday, um, but I just wasn't feeling the best yesterday. So the video is coming out today, unfortunately. But yet, yeah, this is exactly what I was thinking. Um, a new track type from B&M for more lightweight um, elements, uh, so it can do, I, again, whenever I talk about roller coaster elements and all that, as you can tell right now, I have difficulty explaining because I don't know what certain elements are called. I don't know what they do. Um, I don't know everything about coasters. Again, I'm more of a theme park enthusiast, but nonetheless, obviously I love riding roller coasters and that's a big part of me, but, um, I definitely think that a new track type to do these more tight <laughs> turns and inverting elements is what b and going to go after. Um, and nonetheless, we posted this coaster, um, this prediction layout, and, and this is probably just a huge coincidence. We posted this coaster and the Clearmount Steel Factory literally the same day, uh, near the end of the day, 
follow us on Instagram. So weird coincidence. I'm not sure. <laughs> Maybe, you know, and they're posting all these uh, making track videos on their Instagram page. So definitely go follow Clearmount Steel on Instagram. Um, as maybe there's something interesting coming. Maybe I'm on to something. Maybe I'm not. Who knows? This could very well end up being nothing. And it could literally be like a water coaster. Or it could be something completely different. But um, I just wanted to go over what I honestly think the surf coaster may end up being. And what its goal is. So obviously in the business world. Businesses just don't sit there and take being undersold or lower sales. They come up with a new product to try and increase sales. And Bulgar and Mabillard is a business, and their goal is to obviously sell more coasters. So I wouldn't be surprised if we see some sort of retaliation or competition to those new Intamin and Vacoma launch coasters. And I think the surf coaster might be your first signs of that. Anyways, hope you enjoyed my explanation video on what the surf coaster prediction video was about and what I honestly think it could end up being. Um, sorry it was a delayed by a day. Hopefully you still enjoyed it. I want to hear from you guys. Comment down below. What do you honestly think the surf coaster could be? What do you think the surf coaster is going to end up being? Where do you think the first park's going to go? And uh, yeah, do you disagree or do you agree with me? Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't and share this video for others to enjoy. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a great weekend. Bye.